Garrett Bolkus with Last Bread TV here. It's second firearm season in Illinois and more bucks are hitting the ground than ever. We've been working with Chad Johnson for several years now. He takes care of all our taxidermy needs and he is in the shop today to show us how to properly cape a deer mount. There's a lot of hunters out there that shoot great deer that cape them themselves and deliver a subpar cape and that doesn't allow Chad to do what he needs to do to make that mount look pristine. So we're gonna cut away to him. He's got a deer that I shot just a couple days ago. He's got it taped off and he's gonna walk through the right way to cape your deer so he can put it on the wall and make it just like it looked when you took him. They brought me over here because I've talked to him over, over the last several weeks and even after the last couple years, a couple of the guys that's been bringing deer to them to bring to me or whatever, we've had issues with cape. Capes are getting cut in the wrong spot or um, they're not bringing enough cape or whatever. So for demonstration purposes, I took some blue tape here and kind of showed real quick where the cuts need to be as the deer's hanging. And then we'll go through it and actually cut it and then pull it all off. And then maybe even do a two part segment where you can actually take the cape off the skull. But mother nature has already drawn you the lines that you need basically when you're coming um, up the leg and into the armpit. So what I always like to do, tell guys is, is ring it ring the legs just above the elbow and then where the white hair meets the brown hair take your knife and just go follow that line just like i said mother nature made that line just stay out there don't ever get in this white hair you get in this white hair we're going to get into trouble and i'll show you on a form why it is we need this white hair here in this armpit so stay up where the brown meets the white and then when you get up here into this little calic area where um, the brown kind of goes away, just stay out of it and kind of come up here two or three more inches. And if you're worried about it, go four inches. Just don't go across here. This is where everybody gets in trouble. So again, follow the white line and the brown hair where it comes together. Come up here two inches or so, and then come across to the sternum. And that, that cut across doesn't need to be dramatic. Just stay out here and come up here where you stopped your incision when you were doing the gut pile. And then, and then all you do after you do this incision, and then make this incision up here. You just do one perfect ring all the way around the back of the deer and then skin it down that way. So we're gonna pull out the outdoor edge knife and get to work on this. Again, where guys get in a lot of trouble is down that armpit area. There's a really nice circular calic area right here that the taxidermist um, anatomically with some of the forms that we use today um, there's just so much more shoulder and so much more armpit to have the mount that you're looking for right complete animation and have everything anatomically proper we need a, a taxidermist needs this calic area we need this this nice sternum coming up to the top and if it's cut too short Taxidermists can make it work, but you're gonna pull it down. You're gonna get the hair patterns out of, out of place. But down here, I brought a form for demonstration. And right here is where that calic is gonna sit um, in the, in the out armpit on the hide. And then not only do you just need that, but your taxidermist has gotta have another inch or two to come around the back of the form and then staple it. Or if it's a pedestal mount, there's gonna be a groove or some sort of um, place to tuck the skin or glue the skin. So. At the end of the day, not only is it you just need this much hide, here and here, you need hide to go around the back of the form. So worst case scenario is cut it off and the taxidermist doesn't have it. Um, best case scenario is if you're not sure, just tube it and, and leave it all on there and the tax, taxidermist can take off what he needs. But uh, like I said, the forms, they're a lot deeper chested. They got more armpit, they got more leg than they used to have. So to take full advantage of that, um, just don't cut it too short. 